I'm an adult. And I'm raising adults. Yep. That's what I'm doing here. That's what children are. They are learning how to be adults. Hey, I'm Dr. Ken Berry. And I'm Nurse Nisha. We're inviting you to join our private community. Inside of this community, you'll find curated information that would take you hours of YouTube videos and internet searches to glean. You're gonna have access to Nisha and I and a host of other metabolic researchers and metabolic practitioners from all around the world. You'll be able to ask them questions directly during the live videos and have access to replay these videos as many times as you need for the information to sink in. If this sounds good to you, then you can just head down below, click that button, and we'll see you in there. All right, so you've talked a lot about, you know, not relying on the system and the food chain and the contingency plans that you must have in place to make sure that you can feed your family. And that's a lot having to do with sustainability, right? Yeah. However, there's another vein of thought when it comes to sustainability, and that's like, can you sustain this diet long term? And I think you're a walking testament of that. We have multiple examples of multiple different cultures in anthropology and archaeology who their, their only choice was to eat a, an essentially carnivore or super carnivore or ketivore diet their entire existence for multiple generations. So you can't get much more sustainable than mm -hmm. that. And we have documented cultures that did that for generations. Now, although we don't have a documented case of a vegan culture doing that for generations. Mm -hmm. that, that doesn't exist in the literature. There's no nutrient deficit that's gonna develop if you eat only meat and eggs. If you eat only plants, you're gonna have to take a handful of supplements yeah. every day, mm -hmm. or you will develop deficiency. Especially if you include some organ meat, some liver, some heart, some brain, some kidney, you literally will get every vitamin your body made. These pumpkins came from five miles up the road. Yep. This wood that's gonna keep us warm this winter, it came from right, literally right there. I don't have to leave this farm for multiple layers Absolutely. of resiliency and sustainability People are like, well, it won't get repetitive. Won't you get tired? Won't you get bored of it? Again, I think you start to harken back to immature concepts. Mm -hmm. yep. It's like, are we adults here? Or are you bored with this video game? Do you need to play another video mm -hmm. game? Mm -hmm. I'm an adult and I'm raising adults. Yep. That's what I'm doing here. That's what children are. They are learning how to be adults. Part of the learning that is that you do what's best, whether that's always enjoyable or not. I definitely have never gotten bored of eating meat and eggs, yep. and I don't think I ever will. I'll never get bored with, with shepherding the sheep or taking care of the chickens, or eventually when we get some cattle. I'll never get bored of that either. It's what I was made to do. Absolutely. So how could I possibly get bored with mm -hmm. it? I think it's a valid point. Just like what we were talking about long term, and making the investments and making sure that you're investing in the land, you're investing in your health, you're investing in the long-term picture. You've got to think on a more mature level about it. There's no way that you can do all of this and have an immature mindset. Not for long. Not for long. Or you'll, you'll either quit or the immature mindset will go away. You will mature. Mm. And you know, that's kind of the whole purpose even the meaning of the word mature means that you have grown and now are grown. And just like every other species of plant and animal on the planet, a lot of people are hesitant to call people out as being immature. But some people, I think, need that. Yeah. Like you grow up a little bit yeah. with respect to this or that or the other. And it's different things for different people. But it's time for all of us to take a hard look in the mirror and go, mm -hmm. am I really a, a grown up? Yep. Am I really an adult? Am I mature? Or are there areas where I'm mature, but then other areas where I'm still a four-year-old? What can I harden? What can I make more resilient? Where do I need to grow up? Mm -hmm. And if you're not asking yourself that question, then you are suffering, but that's your own fault. Yep. But also your family could be suffering, and that's not really their fault. Mm -hmm. That's your fault too. Yep.